Hey you guys, welcome to I'm So Super Single Reading. Uh, this reading is intended for those of you that are completely single, you're not talking to anyone, maybe you've been out of a relationship for some time now. So this is just kind of trying to pick up the energies to see who's coming towards you and um, you know what's going on. So we'll start off as an eight card spread, uh, focusing on the first question, which is why you are currently single. So give me just a few moments. All right, and then we'll focus on who is coming towards you. Next, we'll focus on uh -oh, when. All right, and then the last question we'll focus on is, um, well, any additional advice in the meantime. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the why. Central issue, we have temperance, and then we have the Ten of Cups. So it looks as if there is a need to heal. Um, there's some sort of healing going on. Maybe something needs to be healed within your family. Um, Maybe something needs to be healed emotionally. There needs to be some sort of compromise. I also feel that there is a possibility that you may have some sort of high ideals. Not saying that you should lower your standards. I'm not saying that, but it's just that you may have been looking at an illusion like your expectations something about your expectations may have been an illusion um it also could be that if you were talking to anyone and it things just fizzled out um it may be because that person was not who they said they were maybe they were putting on a facade um and also, it could be some sort of family issues, like maybe uh, this person is already in a relationship or maybe, um, yeah, so before this person can come into your life, they may need to have some sort of um, ending of this relationship. It, maybe it needs to be resolved before they can start pursuing other people. Um, now other energies that I'm getting and it may or may not have to do with why, but, um, I see a dream. This might just be telling you that you've already been receiving some sort of messages or there's already been some sort of communication in dreams. Um, I feel that this is also saying that you're being prepared for someone. Like this is some sort of preparation and some sort of alignment that's getting ready to happen. But, you know, it's like a matter of being patient. 
And then also something may, even though this is not the timing, I still feel like maybe it's also talking about something that, something happening at the end of the month. So we're just into February. So maybe there's something significant that is happening at the end of February. And then also because we just came to an ending in January, maybe we had to just let something go. For the most part, it looks like there is a need to do some sort of mending or healing. I feel like spirit is also trying to bring two energies together or there's going to be um, like two energies will be merging together. It may also be something in regards to having a blended family. It's possible too that the person you're com that's coming towards you, maybe something about them is different. Maybe you have two different spiritual paths and there's there's a need for you guys to find a way to bring your your lifestyles together. So maybe that is also part of the reason why you're currently single is because there is something in regards to two different energies. People who are on two different paths are needing to come together. Maybe um, and even though you're unaware of whoever could be coming towards you, maybe you don't know anything about what they're going through, but maybe they've been going through some things and they've had to do some healing. But now you guys are in preparation to to be coming together. Um, something else I'm trying to get out or say. I, I feel like there's also going to be some sort of telepathy between two people as well. Now, one other off subject or off topic, it's not off topic, but it's, it's just an unusual thing that I'm getting is that the reason why you're single is because you need to cleanse your energy. There could have been some sort of blockage. Let's just say, Let's just say there was some sort of spell work. And this is not for everyone. I know this is not for everyone, so please don't get spooked out. This is really only for people who who dabble in that lifestyle or you are surrounded like that's part of your culture, like um, Vodun or any type of witchcraft spell work. You know, you know people that practice it. You normally date people who practice it that you practice it, you know, so something like that. So it could be that there was some sort of spell work done and maybe the spell is now wearing off. Maybe someone was trying to prevent you from having companionship or maybe this was happening to the person that was into your life, especially if you were dealing with someone um, and things it, it just couldn't mesh. It could be because someone was doing work on them, trying to prevent them from finding happiness. But it looks like if there were, if the if there was any spell work done on anyone, it looks like it's coming to an end. Um, and then those of you that practice spell work, I do feel like maybe you need to cleanse your energy. So if you do um, make spell baths or if you can purchase a spell bath, and I mentioned in another video earlier this week about how uh, goat's milk soap is good for removing negative energy. Maybe you just need to sage around your, your home, um, your spaces. And also like when you sage, the uh, from what I learned, the windows, or at least some doors need to be open so that the, that negative energy has a way to come out. Um, you also may need to do some sort of protection around your family or your home in case someone is sending negative vibes or negative energy. And then if you don't practice any type of spell work, um, like sometimes uh, like pl putting salt around the perimeters of your home for protection, um, what was I getting ready to say? Oh, if you don't do any type of spell work, like that's not your thing, you're just totally not into that, but you are down for some meditation, you may just need to do that, you know, kind of um, raise your vibration 
um, focus on positive things. I feel that I, I still personally feel that the life you're living has been predestined, but I feel like you predestined it before you came here. I feel like you chose, you You exercised your free will, you made your decisions, you picked out your birth time your, because you created your own birth chart. Like, I, I feel like your life is already predestined. That's my belief. But I still feel that manifestation is something that can be practiced because you you don't know what deep in your subconscious that you did right for yourself. So it's okay if you 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 want to focus something and you want to manifest something. I'm not saying that your life is already predestined so you can't have that, but I do feel like if it's meant for you, if it's something that you already wrote in your chart to have, then it will manifest. It will come into fruition. Um so I'm sorry if that got a little crazy and metaphysical. Um, but that is kind of like some of the energies that I was getting for that first part. So let's go ahead and move on to who. Okay, so we have judgment and the will, two major arcana. So whoever is coming towards you, first of all, something is of high importance about this union. And I was just talking about something being destined and meant to be. This is the will of destiny. This is something that is meant to be. Um, so whoever is coming towards you is part of your destiny. It's part of your path. There's a reason why the two of you are coming together. More than likely it is for um, a spiritual cause or to heal something within each other because we have some sort of mutual exchange going on here. This is, um, maybe you guys are both healers. Um, maybe there's something about the line of work that you'll be doing together that can help or assist other people. And it doesn't just have to be like spiritual healing stuff, but I always say any type of gift that you have can be used to heal or help other people. Um, and it looks, again, with temperance, it looks like two people who have maybe two different talents are forming something together. They both have something to bring to the, to the table to bring happiness or to bring a sense of peace and fulfillment. Um, before I forget, I know I'm still talking about the who, but another reason why you um, could be single is because you were still healing from your previous relationship. Um, so maybe it looks like maybe that's finally happened now that you have been able to successfully be at peace and move on with the last relationship or the last person that you were dealing with. Now the gateways, the gateway is open. All right. So back to who, um, of course, this is not giving me any true physical descriptions but these everything will be clarified at the end after i finish turning them all over um, but i'm gonna pick up what i can uh oh i think that's a little bit too loud let me tell him to turn that down okay um yeah so, see, that threw me off. But anyway, let me just kind of go into the situation that I'm seeing. So judgment indicates that there is some possible, some sort of unfinished business between you and another person. Um, you guys need to have some sort of closure. This may also be talking about some sort of closure too, but I feel like it's weird because I was just saying that you need to, you've, probably successfully healed from someone from your past, but this indicates that there is still past energy coming back around. So it doesn't mean it's maybe it, maybe it could have been two different people though. Maybe you had to, maybe you were dealing with two past people, one person you had to move on from, um, and another person is returning. So it definitely looks like someone is returning regardless. If not from this life, then at least from a previous life. I feel like there is this phone call um, or something will be getting your attention. 
Hmm. And I also feel like something has to do with this window of opportunity. Now I'm noticing here that there are many different zodiac signs. So it can be any sign. Um, hmm. It's also possible that there was a past life shared together that deals with Egyptology, Egyptology or <laughs> Egyptian roots. Let's put it that way. Um, the person you're, that's coming towards you also may have some sort of symbolic tattoo on them that deals with Egypt. Or it may have some uh, some sort of tattoo that deals with um, that has some sort of astrology symbol, or any type of esoteric writing. Like I'm lo looking at the elements of air, water, fire, and earth on here. So it's possible that this is somewhere tatted on their their body. Mm, let me see if I can get any physical description here. Something about their eyes may be piercing. I feel like maybe they're going to be able to see right through to your soul. Or you may feel that way. Like if you look into their eyes, it's going to be like some sort of instant connection. I feel like something was written in the stars. Something about this person is in alignment with your path. I feel that the birth chart synastry would be good. I'm not really getting a name. Something about the lips, though, may be full. The person may have full lips and a defined nose. Their ears might be big, too. I feel like their, their fingers are kind of like piano fingers, like something about their fingers may be noticeable. They may be like long and thin. Um, yeah, and I know everybody isn't going to be skinny, but I mean, it just looks like something about their fingers will be noticeable. So even if they're, the person is heavy set, I feel like their fingers are kind of narrow and long. Or they may have really big hands, um, man or woman, and I'm not trying to take it there. But yeah, they might have like really big hands. And it, something about Jupiter is about expansion. So maybe for a female, she's going to have really large breast maybe for a male he real he will be you know well hung so this is something about expansion something about them their appearance um may be expanding maybe they have really wide eyes hmm so let me go ahead and look at the wind and even before i say the wind again with the wheel this isn't the win, but I feel like it is kind of talking about something about when it's going to happen. So something may happen at the end of the month or maybe on your next menstrual cycle or something in regards to the next major, major phase of the moon. But the planets have to be aligned. Like I talk about the marriage transits a lot which are also like meeting transits, something should be happening in your birth chart to make this a possibility. It's like, think of your birth chart like some sort of combination and how the the moon the, and the stars um, and the planets are all rotating constantly. At some point, there's going to be some sort of combination lock the it's some sort of fixed energy that unlocks an opportunity and a portal opens up and it brings this person towards you it makes it a possibility so why is my phone oh i'm like where did my timer go i want to make sure i'm not over talking okay yeah, so it makes it a possibility once those alignments are right. And I feel like that has something to do with the timing as well. Uh, okay. 
<laughs> it's funny because it almost looks like these could have switched sides but um okay so when this person comes we have the world and then we have the knight of cups so i feel like when is whenever this person is ready to come forward whoever is doing the pursuing they have to be ready they have to be confident they have to be willing to trust and open up their heart now see this is making me feel like it's talking about like like i said a who so this person also may come off as very romantic uh very sensitive they might be emotional they could be um they could have any type of psychic ability they may be an empath they may be very nurturing man or woman And it could be a water sign. So Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Mm, and then I feel like also the win has to do with the completion of a cycle or some sort of closure. And it's still kind of in alignment to what I was saying, like things are coming to an end. So we have an ending here, here, and here. So there are cycles closing out in your life that is making this a possibility so there is going to be a new beginning new opportunities made available for you i almost felt like a batch of people were coming through and i think that's also why this is not defined on who's coming towards you because i think there's going to be several options there's still some sort of residual energy Still some sort of past energy connected with whoever's coming towards you. Um, but it's possible that it may be more than one. You may need to keep an open mind. Um, but something seems though like loud and clear. Like I'm getting loud and clear. So someone's energy, like once you connect to them, it would be loud and clear. It's, I, I feel like you're not going to have to guess and say, well, is this the person? I don't feel like it's going to be any confusion. It's going to be very direct. Um... I just feel like you're going to know. You, you're you going to know. It's like, no, this is the person for me. This I know it. Um, now, also, something could happen on a Saturday. Now, for some of you, this reading may extend all the way out until spring. So... Th this person may not come into your life until spring, which is late March, I believe. So whenever that whenever that happens is when this person could come into your life. Um, it also could be the win has to do with some sort of trip or traveling. So I don't know if you have some sort of upcoming trip uh, or if you're getting ready to relocate. So it could be once you settle down um, in a new city or state, that is when this person comes into the picture or maybe you're vacationing. Um, maybe even this is talking about spring break for, for school, a school calendar. But during some sort of vacation or trip, so any trips lined up, business trip, vacation trip. This also may be saying that if you're not traveling anytime soon, that this person has not yet moved to where you are. So this person may be from another city, state, or country. Um, and as soon as this person settles in, there's going to be some sort of twist of fate that aligns the two of you together. And it's not going to be a coincidence. It's like it's, everything is like divine timing. This is divine timing here. So, yeah, it is seen just in time. Right place, right time. Now, I don't know if it's, um, I don't know if this is having to do with the image that I'm seeing, 
but I don't know why I'm getting dancer. Um, I don't know if someone knows how to dance or if someone has taught backup or someone used to dance as a child or if someone is some sort of dance instructor. Hmm. But something about dance is standing out to me. I even thought about, um, well, even it could be a, a weird situation where someone goes to a strip club and the dancer is whoever is giving you the lap dance oddly or by a twist of fate turns out to be the love of your life. Or if you go to a bachelorette party and the dancer comes in, it's, it's very possible that they could be your the love of your life. Um, I just feel like something about a dancing background has something to do with the person coming towards you. And, and something about maybe even when. So let's go ahead and look at additional advice. We have the Queen of Cups and the Hanged Man. So I feel like you guys are going to have to put things into perspective. Things could be delayed until there is a higher understanding of something. Mm. You may need to have some sort of awakening. And you also may have to let go of some sort of ideas or beliefs. May, like I said, you, you, your expectations could be delusional. Um, you may be looking at something through rose tinted glasses or maybe something is a little unrealistic about your expectations and you're still holding on to those um, high ideals. But I feel that you may need to surrender to some sort of understanding. Some It also indicates that before this can happen, a sacrifice has to be made and it's dealing with emotions. So there may be a need to have a willingness to trust again or to be open to love again especially if you feel like you've lost faith. Like something is saying you need to let go of some sort of ideas. Maybe it is holding on to some sort of negative belief. Um, and whatever it is, I feel like the minute you have some sort of clarity about it, um, you'll be released from this hold or the situation, the stalled situation will be released. Now, I'm also getting that you should pay attention to your dreams because I feel like messages have been coming to your coming through to you in your dreams. And I mentioned telepathy earlier, but I'm seeing it again. Um, pay attention to your heart, the feelings that you get when someone comes around. That could be a, a telltale sign. Um, for instance, just last night, I was having these crazy heart palpitations and I, I hadn't had that, them that intense rather for a very long time. And I had, I could not really sleep last night because it kept waking me up like that, that the palpitations is, it's not, <laughs> trust me, I, it's, it's more so of a spiritual thing, um, and I was wondering, like, why am I having these feelings? The last time I had these feelings was when I was in contact with um, twin, a twin energy. Um, I since come to believe that certain people that you connect to like that can trigger those um, emotions or it's like a, a higher sense, a sixth sense. I feel like there is um, definitely some sort of telepathy or there is an empathic bond that you have with someone. 
So pay attention to how your body reacts when you think of someone. Pay attention to how your body reacts uh, when whoever comes into your life. Let's say, for instance, you were having like crazy heart palpitations like I'm talking about. And you were like, why is this? My, why is my heart feeling so anxious? What's going on in my heart? And then maybe like an hour later, you get a text or a call from someone and you kind of like this someone and you kind of put the two pieces together. And it's just like, oh, my God, I think it's this person. Like I'm starting to notice, like whenever my heart starts going crazy or whenever I have these phantom smells or whatever, I dream have these dreams that I'm in a relationship. The next thing I know, this person is reaching out to me or I'm seeing this person's name or some sort of synchronicity. So just kind of pay attention to, um, you know, these spiritual senses that you may be experiencing. Mm, so let me go ahead and look at the Ten of Cups a little more. I feel like someone can see auras um, like someone may have the ability to look at people and read their energy. They can see colors around people. I don't know if it's you or if it's um, when you meet this person, they'll reveal that to you. And that could be some sort of confirmation. OK, so we have the Knight of Wands. So something could be dealing uh, some something may have to do with a fire sign so a Sagittarius an Aries or a Leo maybe you had to let let that person go or maybe the person coming towards you needs to let go or move on from a fire sign um hmm it's possible that someone need to, needs to finish up their karma with someone before they can move forward. So if you have any type of karma with a fire sign, like the minute that karma is resolved, that is when new love can come in. But right now that might be something that's blocking um, a new relationship from beginning. Yeah, there are some sort of um, loose ends. Hmm. I also feel that someone has been thinking about someone um, intensely to the point where they feel lovesick or feel like they don't know what to do about their situation. I feel like someone may be suffering from anxiety because they they are suppressing some sort of feelings that they have for someone hmm and then here we have justice so like i was talking about some sort of karma or karmic debt needs to be balanced or repaid something is imbalanced um so like I said, I, I just feel like the minute someone finishes resolving some sort of past karma and they heal and, and move on, that is when new love can begin. Someone also may need to make some sort of decision. Hmm. Someone also may be going through a divorce. Hmm. I also feel like maybe um, something has to do with family. Family could have been a factor for whatever reason. And I also see someone receiving a settlement or some sort of inheritance. Someone may be waiting on a settlement and I don't know what that has to do with your love life, but for whatever reason, it does. So I feel like this is something I'm not predicting that someone has to die first. Um, I feel that someone has already transitioned. Someone's already crossed over. 
and now someone is having to finish, um, you know, the paperwork or if they're relocating maybe or moving, maybe they're like, okay, I can't stay in this house. Uh, I got to sell the house first and then I'm going to start my new life over. I feel like people, so, something has ended. It could just be emotional, but I do also feel like maybe there was a physical death and someone is waiting on some sort of settlement to come in. And then after that settlement comes in, this person feels like, okay, now I can um, move about. Now I can start focusing on my love life. Um, another reason for being single may have something to do with um, children. Like you want the right person if you have children. You want to make sure that the person coming to, into your life will be a good fit for the family. Someone who's going to be able to get along with your children. And the person coming towards you may have that concern as well. Like they're looking for the perfect match. They're looking for someone that's going to be the perfect mother or father um, to become a part of their family. Hmm. All right, let me look at the wheel. Now, for somebody, I heard the name Brian. I'm getting B names for some reason. I heard Bernard and Brian. I don't know if that's their first name, middle name, last name. Okay, so this person is having to complete something within themselves. This person, whoever's coming towards you, they're independent. I feel like they're needing, it's like, like I said, maybe they're coming out of a relationship. And once they have healed, then they'll be coming towards you. Then they'll, you know, really be single. This person may be some sort of independent worker, independent contractor. I'm also getting someone who either works in a beer factory or they have worked in a beer factory. Or someone who has a farm, any type of farm, whether it's an apple tree, grapes, um, Whatever, any type of small farm or large farm, but someone who maybe uh, does some sort of um, dirty work. This person is also very slow at making decisions. Um, they're very... I feel like they have a lot of patience with themselves, but that may make patience short for other people. Because someone is so slow in their pursuit, it, it can somehow be misread as them being disinterested. Now, I also feel that whoever's coming towards you they're still healing. They have their moments where one minute they're strong, they're okay, they're independent. And then the next thing, they are grieving the loss of their previous relationship. Hmm. I also feel that something in regards to someone's faith like someone's okay so someone's faith is going to be restored I think what it is is that someone the person coming towards you they're coming out of a dark place and so once their faith is restored once they feel happy healthy confident 
and who they are and their situation, they'll be moving forward. Someone also may have lost some money and, and they may be going through a period where they are struggling financially and feel like maybe they don't have anything to offer. Um, now I'm also getting something about a job transfer or a job promotion. So it could be that once someone feels comfortable about their their job, their line of work, is when this person is going to come through. Also, whoever is coming towards you has been trying to resist you in particular, or they've just been resistant to dating. Um... This person has been wanting to be alone. This is someone who's been saying, I don't want to be in any more relationships. I'm fine by myself. And I feel like they are going, they're trying to stop destiny from happening. But I feel like once this person allows things to just flow naturally, then it things will be okay. But right now, someone is trying to fight what's meant to be. All right, so let me look at the Knight of Cups. Yeah, I, I feel like someone is healing emotionally, but they are trying not to They're going to have an opportunity. They're going to have a this Especially if it's someone from your past. It's like a, a second chance. Something seems like a chance of a lifetime. They're going to be presented with this opportunity to pursue you. And they're going to take it. But they not until they're ready. Right now they're trying to fight. They're trying to fight it. Even if they're doing it, you know, unintentionally. Let's say, for instance... Let's say, for instance, someone is working some sort of job and they keep they put in an application or there's a recruiter that's been reaching out to them. And it's like, hey, we saw your resume or you were recommended by someone. Um, we have this perfect job for you, but it's in this city or it's in this state. And they've been reaching out to this person and they're like, I don't want this. I don't know if I'm ready to move. I, don't, I like the job offer. It's a promotion. It's more money. But that means I have to move. So I feel like someone keeps putting off this opportunity, but they're unaware that once they move or once they take on this job, that they will meet you, you know? And if you're the pursuer, the story definitely can be flipped. So there's something, some sort of opportunity that keeps being presented to you, um, but you keep... Um, procrastinating or second guessing and just kind of feeling like I don't know if that's for me um, but once you decide to take some sort of opportunity it's going to lead you towards your soulmate it might whatever is being presented to you might not have nothing to do with love it might like I said it might have to do with a career it might have to do with family it might have to do with a vacation or traveling whatever it is and you keep putting it off the minute you say okay I guess I'll go ahead and go on this stupid trip. Or I guess I'll take this job and just relocate. I guess, you know, it's like the minute that happens, the minute you settle down in that new place that you take that opportunity, that's when you're going to run into your soulmate. All right, so let's see here. The Knight of Cups clarified by the Prince of Cups. Um, so yeah, it has to do with once this person is ready to put their feelings out there and that here's that new opportunity. And once it's presented, they have to take it, um, or not, but it's like, Hey, is this is something, uh, the opportunity is here, but it's, it's very short lived. So I feel that it has something to do. The timing has something to do with whenever, the, the hopeless romantic is ready to proceed. Something is something's going to inspire them to take a chance. Look at all these cups coming out. Queen of cups. 
something is inspiring this person to go ahead and pursue their dreams um, or put their heart out there again because right now maybe they don't really want to but something's gonna happen where they're like I believe in love again okay I'm ready uh, I'm gonna take this risk see and then it's followed by the two of cups so this person is coming towards you and also because of all this water energy it's possible that it could be once we move into Pisces season. So once the sun moves moves into Pisces um, or the next planet that moves into Pisces is when this could happen. Something, something activates something within this person to come forward, whether you are the pursuer or not you know the whoever this pursuer is something gets activated within them and they're going to feel inspired and they'll be coming to confess and talk about their love that it's like they're putting their heart out there and the two of you are connecting it's going to be a mutual attraction Someone wants to finish where they left off, which again makes me feel like maybe you already know this person or it's either a coworker or it's going to be some sort of business transaction. Um, so I talk a lot about clients, um, like a client employer relationship. Um, someone left a comment and was just like, the only person I would be, um, that I would be paying is a prostitute. I'm like, Seriously, that's all you could think of as when you say client. Um, you know, any any job description where mainly if you're some sort of independent worker or independent contractor, people hire you to do stuff. That's a client service work relationship. So Whatever you do, even if maybe you work for a company, maybe you do insurance, you have a customer that comes in, um, they're single, there's an attraction there. Hey, I know I'm your accountant, but would you consider going out with me? You know, so something's going on where this, this may be something that is um, a business partnership or has the potential to be some sort of business partnership or what takes place first is some sort of business transaction. Um, even um, a cashier, you know, a customer is attracted to the ca uh, cashier. So I feel like something is, is kind of like that, some sort of transaction between the two people at first. Um, also, <sighs> The person coming towards you, or if you're the pursuer, this person has been hostile. This person has been very guarded and has been doing things to sabotage the potential of new relationships because they're hurt. So it's some sort of defense mechanism. I feel like someone was still angry at the universe for taking somebody away from them or breaking them up from somebody. And they're angry. They've been angry at that. Um, I really feel like some, somebody has been angry at God or just angry at life in general. And just like, what, you know, I don't like life or life is unfair. Life is a bitch. Like someone has had like um, a very negative attitude because they were hurt. You know, that's understandable. Nobody's perfect. We all go through that. Um, but I feel like something happens once this transit comes, this person, it's like all of a sudden they're over it. They like release it. They're not angry anymore. And then they're ready to, you know, start dating and looking for love and it, it happens. So I feel like two people definitely, um, are coming back together And someone is going to be ready to express how they feel. So let me also look at the hanged man. And the ten of cups just fell out again. Oh my God, let me get it together. And 
Y'all like my Dunder Mifflin t-shirt? I love The Office. <laughs> That's funny. So the wheel clarified by another major arcana and it's already over here. So something is all about divine timing. Um, surrender to your destiny. Surrender to your destiny. Um, be open. Um, let go of expectations and just I don't again I'm not saying lower your expectations I'm just kind of saying trust that the universe knows what it's doing um so if you're like okay universe you know my checklist um the universe is like look we got this you know <laughs> so let go of whatever hang-ups that you have it, it might be that you're fixated it, it kind of makes me think of the star energy where it's a reminder that you're going to get what you've been praying for, but you just have to let the universe uh, handle it. Like you might have expectations of things going happening one way, but they actually just turn out you get what you asked for. Just did it happen differently. Um, and a lot of times, too, when we break up with somebody we really feel like, man, that person was the best person that I ever connected with. And you're like, how can somebody top that? You know, and you would be surprised at how many times that can happen. <laughs> you know, everybody's different, but like you think you you're not going to be able to love that like you loved that person but there's always the opportunity of this new person and you exploring some sort of even bigger and better love or just completely different love but nevertheless is something that you really wanted and you didn't think that you were going to get it again you didn't think you were going to love again but you did you know i didn't think i was going to find love after my twin flame even though the, I've had short-lived relationships. I still was able to find love again and something about those connections were so beautiful. Like I really enjoyed the connections that I've had since then. So it can happen again. I just feel like maybe there's a need to just allow things to play out. If, you, if you're trying to control your fate too much, just kind of acknowledge that and say, okay, let me relax, let me breathe. <sighs> So I just kind of feel like you do need to just allow things to play out. That's funny, though. I keep saying let go of the past, but the past keeps showing up. Same two cards that are here are clarifying the hanged man, the will and judgment. Something from the past is destined to come back. You know, I guess it's that saying if it's meant to be, let it go and it'll come back, you know, or you know the saying, it's like different variations of it, but maybe you do have to trust that if you let someone go, they'll return if it's meant to be. So if you really fit, if you had to let go of somebody in the past and you were like, I love this person with my heart and soul on, you know, or I love this person with such a deafness, um, in depth, in depth, I'm making up stuff, I think. Um, but yeah, if you felt that way about somebody and you were still holding on to that person, um, maybe you need to let go of all the fears that you'll never find that person again. Like if you truly believe that that person is your soulmate, then believe it and just let it go. Say that person is my soulmate. I know what I felt. I know what I experienced. But at this time, there's nothing I can do about it. And, I, you know, I speak from advice. That's a, that is one of the things that I decided to do is to let go of things that you can't control. It's like I can't control this situation. I can't make someone call me. I can't make someone return. So why worry about it? Like, let it go. Just let it go. Stop worrying about things that you just feel like you have no control over. You know, even when it seems like 
say you could be consumed about finances and you're like, I really need the money. My check is short. Uh, you know, you're stressing. Like, do you really think you're going to lose your home or you're going to lose, you know, whatever the case, I just feel like just look at it as like, you know what? I'm short this month. I'm sure next month it'll make, make up for, it'll make up for it. You know, I'm just not going to worry about it. I'm just, let me stop worrying about it because there's nothing else I can do about it. So I feel like if something is out of your hands, you just, any situation where you just feel like you have tried, you've done all you could do, it's out of your hands. Let it go and focus on other things. There, yeah, there is something coming towards you that you need to be open to. Someone is part of your destiny. Someone is part of your calling. You guys may have an opportunity to even get engaged. I don't know if at some point there was an engagement for some of you and it got called off or someone came in between um, and they had to resolve their karma with that person. Maybe that karma is over now and this person is being sent back to you. It looks like the universe has, is intervening and aligning you with your twin soul. And I'm, when I say twin soul, I'm not talking about twin flame. I'm just talking about someone who's going to mirror your energy. Someone who is going to help you reach your highest potential. Because they're going to be a reflection of everything that you feel that you deserve. Um, whoever has been not wanting to communicate. So again, we got the five of swords as one of the central issues. So someone, yeah, someone has been kind of mean and hostile they they got mad at love they got mad at the universe and they've been kind of acting out or sabotaging anyone that comes in their path because they're like you're just an illusion it's not real anyway get a you know screw love the hell with love you know i don't have time for that um you know so i feel that someone has been hostile or angry and frustrated because they felt like the person that they did love in the past, maybe it was an illusion or maybe they just didn't understand why it had to come to an end. Um, maybe someone was like re feeling like they they had a revenge for life. Like they just wanted revenge on love and just didn't know how to do that. So they just self-sabotage their own love life. But the will indicates that there's some sort of shift or change happening that's you know, that was that cycle as a, a reason and a season for all things. You know, I'm making shit up. Um, but <laughs> no, that's not exactly how the saying goes. But you get it. And this is some sort of opportunity that you're destined. Your calling is coming towards you. This person will be a part of your destiny. This is part of your um, the part. The relationship also may have a higher calling, like I said. There's a reason why the two of you will be coming together. Um, it's something about the energy of the two of you may somehow help to heal. It's, it's like a ripple effect. So the love that you and this person share can somehow have some sort of ripple effect and help and heal other people or help other people find their divine counterparts. And honestly, that that is part of the reason why I want to help everybody find their divine counterparts. Only because in this lifetime, love is my favorite thing. So I feel like I just want love and then I want everybody else to have love. You know, it's just like, I. that's my favorite thing about this life is, is romance and finding love. So I want everybody else to have that too. So something about that, I'm hoping and praying that when it does happen, that my energy will also be helping other people connect with their other halves. So I feel like I really pretty much cover everything. I usually like to give one last look at the cards, but I, I feel like I, I covered all of it. So I'm debating if I should do you guys readings, um, sign readings today. I probably will. They might be shorter. Don't get mad. Might have to try to squeeze it down to 10 minutes per video. Ooh. But yeah. All right. That's all. I hope 
that helps you guys feel free to leave your comments don't forget to like share and subscribe many blessings to you